I was getting 100 views, 83 views, and 53 views before I started understanding SEO and video ranking strategies on YouTube. But after I had done the research and learned about SEO's importance, I started getting 1,000 views, 3,000 views, 5,000 views, and 24,000 views in just two weeks. And now I know the way how to rank and how to get more views. I'm not expert like these big YouTubers, but I have proof that I can show my videos to a bigger audience here is the proof. If I search these keywords, I find a viral niche for YouTube automation. Both of my videos are ranking first and second together with just 900 subscribers. And if you see below them, there are big YouTubers with large amount subscribers. So the question is how I do it and how you can do it. So in these video, we will see four steps. Step one, what makes a keyword qualified? A qualified keyword has to get high or medium search volume and low competition. Because if no one is searching for the keyword, we will not get views. Or if the keyword has high search, but also have high competition, we will have a low percentage in ranking or we will not rank. Let's see these examples. Make money on YouTube has a high search with 59,000, but it has a high competition. These means we have many competitors, okay? And the other one is make money from YouTube channel. And these one have low search and also high competition. These means it was a good keyword in which many videos are on it, but at this time, no one is searching for it based on the past performance. It has high competition, so these are bad keywords to create videos on them. Now let's see these qualified and great keyword, YouTube automation for beginners. These keyword have 20,000 searches per month and low competition. So these keyword is qualified because it has a high potential to get views with it. But if you do the other steps correctly, doesn't mean if you get the best keyword, you get views. There are many other things to do to get views. So after we see what makes a qualified keyword, let's jump to step two, how to find qualified keywords based on your niche. To find a great keyword for your video, we will use two ways. The first one is YouTube by itself. Start by brainstorming relevant keywords within your niche. In my niche, for example, let's search for YouTube automation. And as you see, we have many keywords on the screen. These keywords are mostly searched keywords. And if you want more keywords, just play with it. Add A and you will get more and new keywords. Also, you can continue adding different keywords. Okay, after that, click report search predictions. After that, just drag your arrow and copy all the keywords and let's paste them to notepad. You can use any notepad. I will use these online notepad. Okay, now let's go to the vidIQ tool and let's search every keyword we copied before how many search and competitions have. After that, let's arrange them from the greatest to the lowest five keywords, and we will choose based if it is qualified or not, as I explained before. So these keywords are the main, but we can add some good catchy text if we think they need to be added with them. For example, let's choose one, YouTube automation course, and let's add to these keyword from scratch to expert. These make the title catchy and clickable, as well as it's still a qualified keyword. It has medium search and low competition. Okay, the other and easy way is to use vidIQ Q tool. Just type the main keyword in your niche or topic. After that, you will be suggested a related keyword for the keyword you gave. Related keyword means keywords that are similar to it. And also you have matching terms. And these means keywords that have your keyword in them. So you can just choose one from them and you are good to go. But to get more suggestions of related keywords or match term keywords, you need to sign up for the paid plans. So if you want to sign up for vidIQ, I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, let's jump to step three. Let's identify the videos currently ranking for this keyword. Okay, after we find the keyword, we need to find who's ranking using these keyword on YouTube. So just open YouTube and paste the keyword we chose. I choose YouTube automation with AI. Okay, now after that, let's open them in new tabs one by one. After that, we can see how they performing means views per hour even. We can see a graph that shows if these videos going up increasing views or they will die. But all of these features are available if you have vidIQ. So as you see, vidIQ is the most important tool to use. So just go to the description below, sign in and start searching all the keywords you want. Okay, after we do that, we will see which video is going viral and which one is dying. After that, choose the best video performing the best from all ranks with ease keyword after that, open it and watch the 30 seconds of it only. You will see that it has a compelling hook. So while creating the video, you need to make it much better from these videos. So I understand you asking why the hook important in ranking your video, okay? Let's say you ranked your video at first, but when they click on the video and they get bored and click out, YouTube sees these and it pushes down your video and your video starts deprioritized. So make sure creating engaging videos cause ranking by itself, we not give you views. Step four, SEO. SEO includes title, description, thumbnail. Let's see them one by one. Title. Title has a significant impact on both SEO and viewership because YouTube uses your title to understand your video content. Also, title increases CTR of your video because the first thing you see in a video is a title. You ask, what is this video about when you see the thumbnail and you immediately search for the title to understand the video. So because of that, the keyword we have chosen is for title. To write the best title, it must have like feeling or it must be informative. It should spark viewers curiosity and encourage clicks. Also, 
it has to be ideally under 70 characters. You don't want your title to end with a dot, dot, dot. Okay for the description. The first thing you need to do is copy the title or the keyword we choose and pass it into the first of the description. After that, we will use vidIQ to generate a description for us. Okay, first let's go to vidIQ and paste the title. After that, let's take two from related keywords that are qualified and let's go to vidIQ AI Coach. Ask vidIQ to write a YouTube video description based on these keywords. Also make it short and clean and paste the keywords. After that, let's wait and boom, we have the description for our video. So after that, the last one left is the thumbnail. For the thumbnail, we need to make it attractive or unique. Thumbnails are the gateway of our video to get views. So take your time to craft a visually appealing and informative thumbnail. But how we can see if it performing effectively, just go thump up TV and upload your thumbnail to try it. If it looks great on YouTube, thumb up TV will show in all shapes, even on Apple TV. So use these tool, it's for free, and check whether your thumbnail is performing effectively. So we have done all the steps. So now you can implement these strategies and share your progress in the comments below.